basically I'm gonna document this fairly quickly here. I'm gonna go ahead and build um, a solar powered air conditioner that's completely independent from uh, needing any uh, 110 volt power. Um, this is basically gonna be running here for the chicken coop for the chickens here. So I'll go through it quickly and kind of document the process. Um, here's the materials I'm gonna start off with here and uh, I'll just keep jumping through the steps. Okay, I'm just gonna mark out the hole here where I wanna cut the top. Uh, this is gonna allow for venting of the AC. So fan's gonna blow it in here, it's gonna blow it out up here. Okay, got my hole drawn here. That's exactly where we're gonna cut out and that's gonna allow this to slip through nice and tight. Okay, just gonna cut the hole here uh, out with a jigsaw and I'm running the jigsaw here actually on 100% solar power, so I'll explain that more in detail later. Okay, got the hole cut out here. That'll allow this to fit nice and secure in here, and then we'll set it. Okay, now I have this set right now, and I have little stops on there just to hold it while I silicone it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and mark this here and cut out, and then I'm gonna cut uh, on the inside of my line uh, so my fan can recess in here. Okay, the hole for the fan's cut now, so basically that's just going to slip in there like that and then I'll add some screws and silicone to that as well and we'll start putting all this stuff in permanently. Okay, now we're just going to add silicone around the edges of the circles here that were cut out and let it set up. Okay everyone, I feel like I should uh, do a follow-up video here just to kind of show you the uh, chicken AC or uh, free AC, whatever you want to call it solar AC system kind of in use and just kind of show you the cooling capacity and how powerful this actually is. Um, right here you gotta I figured I'd just show you with a thermometer here. It's like 95 degrees out today, 90, 95 degrees out, it's pretty hot. Uh, so I figured I'd just kind of just do a real life test here and just kind of show you how this works. So I have a little temperature port here. And we'll go ahead and turn it on. And you can kind of see how cool uh, one of these systems will actually get um, when you're in a pinch here I'll just let it run mine got kind of dirty being out here but these chickens love it so we went from about 95 degrees to it's pretty much blowing it's hot out today and there's not a lot of ice left in this thing um, right around 70 Six seventy-five ish um, if I leave this in here for a little while it'll get down to around 70 uh, which is a beautiful uh, temperature in here especially when it's about 30 degrees hotter uh, outside than in here so likewise just like with any kind of air conditioning you're really gonna cool about 20 degrees less than what the actual temperature is that your uh, environment is so if you got a 80 degree room, um, you could easily blow 60 degrees through here. It's just very hot, and like I said, I only have about two half melted blocks of ice uh, sitting in here. But um, it's effective, it works, uh, it's completely running off of solar power, and at the end of the day, these ladies love it. They're all just kind of hanging out back there, enjoying the cool breeze. So that's kind of the uh, the little solar AC system in a nutshell here, all running off of solar power. And just to kind of, I just did another video earlier of this system, but I'll just show you one more time here. Get in here, show you what she's running off of. That's a 100 amp hour battery, running up to a um, PWM solar charge controller. Uh, the power inverter is not being used. It's just running off a of 12 volt and getting all of its power right here from the sun. So that's the follow-up video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the little how-to series. I tried to make it as detailed as possible. Um, and if you have any questions, as always, pipe them down, improvements, anything. It's uh, always uh, good to hear from you guys. So thanks for watching.